Hi, Blockchain Visionaries. I'm George Levy. I believe we're changing the world one blockchain at a time. And if we use this technology properly, we're bound to make the world a better place for everyone. So to help make that change happen, in today's video, I will be answering a question from one of the students of my best-selling cryptocurrency fundamentals course. Lily asks, what is a candlestick price chart when it comes to cryptocurrencies? In this video, I will give you the answer. Stay tuned. We will now look at cryptocurrency candlestick charts and how they are used. To do so, let's start with the definition of a candlestick chart. A candlestick chart is a visual representation of the activity in the price of an asset during a certain time frame. It shows the open and close of the price along with the high and low for that specific time frame. I will define all that for you. First off, we're going to be talking about cryptocurrency. So when we're talking about the price of an asset, we will be talking about the price of cryptocurrency. So you may be looking at a candlestick chart, looking at the candlestick chart of Bitcoin, for instance, or you may be looking at Bitcoin Cash or Litecoin. The answer is when you're looking at candlestick charts as applied to cryptocurrency, we will be looking at a visual representation of the activity and the price of that cryptocurrency during a certain time frame. Let's go now into a structure of a candlestick so you know exactly what I mean. There are four elements to a candlestick. First, you have the opening price. That is, at what price point did that asset, in this case, this cryptocurrency, open up during the time frame we're looking at? For instance, if you're looking at a candlestick chart for an hourly candlestick, you have to look at what time, what price did that cryptocurrency open at the beginning of that hour? Then you also have the closing price for that cryptocurrency during that hour. So, so far we have two elements, the opening price and the closing price of that cryptocurrency in the time frame we specified. But we also have the high and the low. That is, sometimes a cryptocurrency may not close at the high. It may actually get up to a certain high and then drop and actually settle at a slightly lower price. So the idea is the opening price and the closing price are specifically at what price point did the asset begin that time frame and then the highs and the lows are to what extremes on the upside and on the bottom lower side did the asset price swings move so let's look specifically to this if we're looking at a green candlestick and green candlesticks are specifically related when you're actually looking at a time frame when the price went up the candlestick actually has a piece called the body and this body includes the open, that is the opening price at which the asset began, that is the cryptocurrency, where did it begin in this time frame, and has the closing. So it has the open and the close held in the body. Additionally, there's two additional lines and these are called wicks. Now the wick actually takes you all the way to the low, that is how low did the price go, and how high did it go? That is, the wick takes you to the extremes of how the price moved within that time frame. This is what you're actually seeing when you actually have a period in time where the price of the asset actually went up. You have it in green. Now, however, you can have a red candlestick, and that is when the price actually drops. In this case, the opening price would actually be higher than the closing price. Because of this, the candlestick would have to be red to reflect the fact that the price at the open was higher than the price at the close. In a red candlestick, you also have wicks, and these wicks also represent the highs and the lows for the price of that asset during that time frame. Let's take a look now at these candlesticks as they are applied in an actual use case. I will now take you to see candlestick charts for various cryptocurrencies and to do so I will be taking you to coinbillboard.com which is a website that tracks the cryptocurrency market including the price activity volume and market cap for cryptocurrencies in the interest of full transparency I am a co-founder at coinbillboard.com along with bits online and this information is available to you 24 hours a day seven days a week so if you want to explore and visit coinbillboard.com and actually look yourself I invite you to do so 
For the purposes of this video, I want to show you candlestick charts as they are applied to today and the price movements that are going on right now in the cryptocurrency market. As of the time of this recording, today is October 3rd, 2018, and it is approximately 1228 p.m. Eastern Time. What you see is that at this precise moment, the cryptocurrency market is down. That's why you see so much red. We list on coinbillboard.com all the various coins and what is the price point for each one of them. Now what we really want to see is candlestick charts and we can view that by actually looking at graphs. These graphs are actually candlestick charts. Let me zoom in a little bit so you see what I'm talking about and I'm actually going to bring it down to the hourly movement. So right now what you are seeing here is the hourly movement of the cryptocurrency markets specifically Bitcoin as it applies to October 2nd now October 3rd and let's drill down specifically October 3rd which is today and I'm gonna get zooming in even closer and what you find is that on October 3rd at midnight we actually had an open of six thousand four hundred sixty four dollars for Bitcoin and we had a closing of six thousand four hundred sixty two dollars and thirty four cents you can see this information at the top over here and you'll see how when I hover over Wednesday the 3rd, you will see the price points that I told you about. We had an opening of $6,464 and a closing of $6,462.34. However, in the following hour, we actually had a higher price point. That is, we opened at $6,468.38 and we closed at $6,470.01. So you see, we had a higher price point when we closed. That's why we have a green candle. Moving into the next hour, what we find is that the open for this specific one corresponds to the closing of the previous hour. That's $6,470. And the closing for this specific hour was $6,477.74. As a result, you have a green candle. That's why you see that you have a green candle and the wicks will show you the high which was six thousand four hundred and eighty dollars and seventy three cents and the low which is six thousand four hundred and forty eight dollars however when we move from 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. at 3 a.m. we actually had a drop and that's because Bitcoin opened at a higher price than what it closed in that hour as you can see here it opened at six thousand four hundred and seventy four dollars and thirty three cents but it closed at six thousand four hundred and sixty dollars and twenty eight cents that is why you have a red candle body then the following hour we repeat the same pattern we had a lower we had an open at six thousand four hundred and sixty dollars and twenty nine cents and a close at six thousand four hundred and fifty eight dollars and ninety five cents repeated then on the following hour with a higher candle so we had an open that was lower and eventually closed at a higher price point and that is what candlestick charts are all about they track the price activity the highs and the lows and the opens and the closes. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so I invite you also to subscribe so we can stay in touch. Also, if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, we are changing the world one blockchain at a time. I'm George Levy. Thank you for watching.